Hey guys, welcome to Daydreamer. I'm Sunny, and today I just wanted to show you the new WWE 2K17 Future Stars Pack DLC. The pack contains Austin Aries, Mojo Rawley, the Perfect 10 Ty Dillinger, and Gallows and Anderson of the club. What I'm going to do is going to have a few matches um, with all the superstars involved, and just basically go through how they look, how they play, and give you an overall review of the pack itself. Okay, so let's start off with Austin Aries. And we'll put him up against the perfect 10. The perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. Okay, thank you very much, Lillian. Um, it's only right that we have it on NXT. It's awesome that both of these guys are actually in the game in the first place. It's a shame that it's taken DLC to actually get them in there. I feel like they probably could have put them in there from the start. But such is modern gaming. I'll only show you a little bit of the entrances because you, you guys won't actually get the uh, the entrance music. If you did, WWE would slap me with a copyright claim, one of which I do not want. So there he is, the greatest man that ever lived. Looking fantastic. Great looking character model, as I expected it probably would be. Again, I think it's so awesome that Ty Dillinger's actually made it into this game. And from Niagara Falls, Looks fantastic again. Weighing in at 223 pounds, the perfect 10, Ty it's pretty cool that the crowd are chanting 10 as well. I'd be a little bit disappointed if that wasn't included, to be honest. Okay, let's see how both men play. This match with tidal waves of momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. Well, neither one of these competitors has a lot of love for the other. And that's going to be Austin Aries' size looks very accurate Rain indeed. He's a, not a not the tallest of uh, of men. I have a feeling the WWE universe is in for oh. a treat tonight. That ought to be worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Uh, looking at Austin Aries, what's the story for him right now? Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one -on -one environment. That's a good sign. You know, I really love tag team, Royal Rumbles, and all the rest of them. But there's something it's good if you've been holding off awesome on a NXT Universe WWE mode. Superstars battling now you can finally get the Universe mode that you want without having to use uh, community creations. Time now. He looks a bit off his game here. This nice heelish back rake from Austin Aries there. If he's not careful, it looks like his toughness is about to be tested. Oh, it's been oh. a great match up to this point. Another this inverted time I realized I just ran out of reversals. Okay, I'm back in the match. Sometimes that's all it takes. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Any high flying moves? Ooh. Like a springboard shooting star splash. Nice reversal from Austin Aries. Great reversal! This kind of offense he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made Both guys look really this. great. Uh, the lighting that they've used in this game, this year's game, um, really does make a difference to the character models, and uh, that's no different here. He's on the defensive here. He's going to want to make sure this does. Very, very painful hold here. What's he going to do? Too early for that, Mr. Dillinger. I'm afraid. Discovered his favorite move. You think he seems to use it often enough? Yep, keep using the same move. 
wish I wasn't doing that, to be honest. Nice reversal. We've seen this before. Here it comes. Ah, awesome. I like that. That's a good touch. What a move. Uh oh. There's a here's a cover. And a kick out. Much to nobody's. Okay, a kick out at one, which is a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is on these games. Okay, let's see if I can mount some sort of comeback here. Ty's getting the best of me at the minute. I think that's really cool that he takes the knee pad down. Wasn't expecting that, actually. Oh, my. Look at this. Uh oh. Oh, the other knee pad's gone as well. Oh, the drama. Kick it out after one. Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. Blimey, Ty's really going for it here. That wild strike found nothing but empty air that time. I can't get any offense in at all. <laughs> That's what you call swinging for the fences and missing. Oh, a cardinal mistake there. Look at this hang time. Incredible. He's looking for the win. This may be it. And the shoulders up now. That's a kick out. Nice. After the amount of punishment he suffered, it's simply amazing that he's still in this one. Rolling out of harm's way. Time to retreat a little. Catch a bit of a breather. May change the entire complexion of this match. Yeah, and if their face hits this floor, it'll change the complexion for sure. Great offense by Austin Aries. King, once you get outside the ring, anything can happen. Yeah, and it usually does. Over the years, I've seen more careers come to an abrupt I know it's more of a recent thing, but it would be awesome if the crowd was chanting 10 along with the so uh, referee's count. Austin Aries has eyes to finish. Here's Austin Aries' finishing move. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hold. Definitely too much to ask for a kick out at this point. I don't that. believe the destruction we're seeing. So the last chancery. That's pretty cool. To another. He anticipated that move perfectly. Must have getting quite a good match out of this. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. Whoa, he's measuring. Ty's going for it again. At least the uh, knee pad animation is gone. So they don't put it in there that's even it. though he's got no he's knee pad on. So that's he good. Just getting... he thinks he has it. Still a kick out of one. He's too busy bragging and boasting and battling in this matchup. He's fading fast. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. Hold on. You had to think one of these times he goes for his finisher, it'll actually finish this thing, right? Guys, if I'm him, I'm putting my finisher on ice. It clearly hasn't been working. Big suplex. Ouch. After a move like that, he's going to need to see a chiropractor or a spine specialist, whatever he's comfortable with. No pun intended, of course. Okay. Yeah, he's not going to see Austin Aries. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Signature move. I was going to remember what it actually is. Well, yeah, I've never seen him do that before. Stay down. Stay down. And that was a huge counter. Reversal. He didn't need a GPS to find the mark. Not this. He's looking at it again. Last chance for me again. And it's over. Last chance where he snatches it. Okay, so the Austin Aries character model is fantastic. So is Ty Dillinger. The movesets are there. Um, I like Ty Dillinger's 
taunt going into the signature and the finisher where he takes down the knee pads. And I also like the consistency that he doesn't do the taunt if the knee pads aren't there. So much like The Rock, really, when uh, he's run out of elbow pads for the people's elbow, he doesn't actually do the taunt. So that's good. Here's your winner. Instant okay. classic. You're looking at the winner of this one-on-one -on -one match. You know, without a doubt. Okay, let's move on. Let's um, have a tag team match with the club. And uh, I may as well at this point use Mojo Rawley and Zack Ryder as the hype bros to take them on. The club are two characters that I feel definitely should have been in there from the start. Judging from those pictures there, the uh, the character models are going to look fantastic. I love them fighting Raw. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. I hope it's not raining outside. Luke Gallo's eyes are a little haunting there. And the matching up screen. screen. Against Team Zack Ryder. Two even ah, right. So Michael Cole chimes in there a little bit late. Pick. Team Zack Ryder. Okay, so they look great. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 505 pounds, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. The club. <laughs> Two teams will enter. But on. Cool. Okay, good. They've put the Hype Bros entrance in there, so that's uh, that's a good thing. Obviously, Mojo wasn't in the game until today, so it's cool to see that they've actually done that, made the effort to do it. I know you can't hear it, but the Hype Bros music never gets any better. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. Would have been cool for them to give uh, Zack Ryder a new attire, but I think I'm probably asking a bit too much there. We can just be thankful that we've got Mojo, providing that's something to actually be thankful for. Well, all I know is the internet sensation takes no prisoners, and I expect more of the same tonight. Okay, Carl Anderson getting a bit of a whooping so far from the High Bros. In a tag team, being a good partner is as important as anything else. How Carl Anderson hasn't even got hype in just yet. I wouldn't be surprised if Zach Back in the ring. To team up with him just so the fans of the internet would like him a little bit more. You know, when Zach stops goofing around, he's actually got a lot of talent. Okay, let's bring the big man in. He catches him with the axe handle. Just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. The tires are all good. Mojo looks good. The club looked great. I'm glad to see the club finally in the game. Like I said earlier on, it would have been better to have them in from the start because, you know, they were active members of the WWE roster way before this game ever came out. I want to get Mojo in there so we can see what Mojo looks like. How Mojo moves around. Go on, get over there. Tag him in. Here's a guy who wasn't happy with his spot. Oh, here comes Mojo anyway. Down he goes. Oh wait, did he tag in? 
Like oh, of course you can blind tag on this, can't you? Well, the computer can blind tag anyway. That's pretty cool. I'm really impressed that they managed to put the Hype Bros together with the Hype Bros music and stuff like that. Just because of all the shortcomings that this game actually has, it's nice to see them actually do something that is pretty cool for a change. Check Kyle Anderson back in there. Kyle Anderson has recently been sporting trousers, but uh, I can forgive them for that because, uh, of course, that's a very, very recent thing indeed. I'm not sure why they've uh, started putting trousers on him, though. Maybe they think he's got skinny legs. He's not looking like himself here. Heading into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. Come on, you and I both know that a little adversity isn't going to end this guy's night. In fact, it might make him stronger. Oops. Great point, John. And he doesn't seem too phased at this point. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? What a cool way to take someone off their feet. You got to be kidding me. Yeah, that was quite the slam, wasn't it, Cole? And he reversed it. Good move there. Mojo's got a better momentum here than anybody else in the match. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. Yeah, charge! He's on his heels. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. Well, this might finally be where one of these guys starts to pull away. You know, I would have thought one of these guys would have shown signs of dominance at some point by now. That just hasn't really been the case. First time for everything, I guess. Down he goes. Let's get Machine Gun Carl Anderson back in here. Look at this now. He gets out of trouble there. Possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to momentum seems to be going up very quickly. Not only does Zack Ryder possess so he goes back and tags in Zack Ryder. Okay. Entertainment, but he's also a huge fan. WWE.com once ran a feature on his merchandise collection. Let me tell you, it would make the world's biggest fan blush. What's the next move for Carl Anderson to turn things around quickly to remain in this thing? His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. Man, the commentary is all over the place in this match. He needs to pull ahead. Yeah, but at some point... And I'm pretty sure the king said Donnyman's as opposed to Dominance. just be what we're looking at here. I believe that is the first time tonight we've seen that move. No, oh, wait. Nice reversal. Yeah, about that merchandise collection. I sure hope Zack Ryder has plenty of King action figures in there. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly, real great counter. Oh. He gets going like this, there are a few better. Great officiating, as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Devastating Boston Crab there, broken up straight away by the ropes. Zack Ryder with nice contact there. And that was a huge counter. Here we go. Kyle Anderson's signature move. Cool. This tag team match is dangerously now let's see if these guys have a tag team finisher. Be awesome if they do. This is where we find out exactly what this guy's made of. You know, they do. And I didn't action it, so that was good. At some point by now, that just hasn't really been the case. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. Look out below. As you'll be unsurprised to know, I didn't actually mean to go to the top oh, rope there. Mojo getting involved. The tension, the drama. This is electric. Look at the back of my arm, Cole. Look at the goosebumps. I love this. Okay, let's check out Carl, um, Luke Gallo's finisher. Nice. What a move 
A nice straight choke slam there. I like that. Nothing fancy about it. Just up and down. Okay, let's trigger that tag finisher. Of course they're going to have one. The magic killer. Is that going to be enough? It is. Okay, good that they put the magic killer in there as well. It's only right that they did. Okay, so just a few final thoughts on the WWE Future Stars Pack DLC. Um, it's worth buying, I think. It's probably the best DLC pack they've put out so far for WWE 2K17. It's cool that they've finally added wrestlers that really probably should have been in the game when it actually launched back in November, but um, or October rather. But it's uh, worth buying. It's £7.39, um, or if you have the WWE 2K17 season pass, it is, of course, included in that as well. Um, Guys, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and share the video. Subscribe to Daydreamer. Subscribe to youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play. And um, I'll speak to you next time. Thank you very much, guys. Goodbye.